Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new or returning. Hope this reading finds you well. I'm just going to jump right into the reading. We're going to start off with the viewer's energy first, and then I'm going to reshuffle the deck and see what spirit wants you to know about this particular situation that you have going on with a specific person. So who I'm picking up right now, cards are telling me you are on the fence. You're on the fence. You're unsure about someone's intentions. Some of you, you're unsure if this relationship or situationship even has a future. Some of you, whoever it is I'm speaking to, has a choice to make between two people. Okay, not all of you, but I am seeing here with the lovers and the hanged man. This is um, talking about how to move forward. If you see a future, how does this person really feel about you? Are they hiding something, keeping something back from you? Is this just a friendship thing? Is this is this just passing time? You know, could something actually real and long-standing come out of this? I feel like someone here is wondering if they should put an effort or continue to put an effort, or I don't know, someone here I'm kind of getting here, it's like, I don't have the answers yet, I don't really know exactly how I want to move the situation forward, but you do feel like you have some sense of control over this, like if you wanted to, maybe because this person has already reached out to you, asked you out on a date, or they recently texted, you recently saw them, you guys recently do something here, kind of, you're like holding back. I, I kind of get this energy of you're holding back, maybe from reaching out, from saying something. Now, the confusion here lies on, okay, what I'm getting right now is you're really considering moving forward with somebody but your heart hangs in the balance. Something else hangs in the balance. You know, you're trying to look at this situation logically, pragmatically, and it just, something's not adding up to you and you're trying to listen to your intuition. You're really attracted about, you're really attracted to this person you think this fun person is fun, interesting, adventurous, okay, exciting, attractive, your type. And you want something to get off the ground. I get that if you have already been intimate with this person or if you've already been somewhat involved, if you have or haven't, doesn't matter, you don't want it to stay only at where you two are right now with this Knight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles coming out. Because this to me feels like fun. Feels like, okay, I don't know. It's like you get this feeling that there's always some, there's something here between the two of you. And you want to go into it, you want to explore it, but you don't want to do it at the expense of getting your heart broken, maybe leaving the wrong person, okay? Um, and you want, to know, you want to know if they feel the same way back. This could be a Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, um, Leo is in this reading, okay? So I get that there is some nervousness. And yeah, right now you're maybe in this place of analysis paralysis. Perhaps you've already reached out to them. You know, you've been, I'm kind of getting for some of you, may have been rejected, turned away, or maybe, um, I don't know. There's something here between the two of you. It's like I see it in the cards. You feel it too. I'm feeling it right now just as the reader. And it's telling me that, okay? Like there's so much potential here. Like this is 
could turn into love of the lifetime for you, the love of your life, the one, you know, this person makes you go into your heart space. You're looking at this situation with gentle care and interest, with genuine care and interest. Okay. This can be someone you've known for a while. Okay. This is someone here that keeps popping back, maybe in and out of your life, or this is someone you've known since you were younger or you had something with them before in the past or you see them pretty often you have a history with them or you may have mutual friends this person could be new and they just feel all types of familiar to you for whatever reason okay so let's take a look here and see what do you need to know about this situation hopefully this makes more sense to you guys than it does to me but i feel like this is very specific i don't know how to title this reading like, well, I'll title it based on what I see here and um, this person's energy, the person that you're thinking about. The hangman is telling me you're confused. You want to say something, you want to do something. You're just not sure if you should. Some of you wonder if it's even worth it. Like, what's the point, you know? What would be the purpose? There is something here between the two of you. You know it, you feel it. And the cards are stating that as well. It's all the lovers. You know, you've always felt that there was something between the two of you. That's what I keep getting. You've just always felt it. But then they also do this thing where it confuses you. Okay. So how is this person feeling about you? What does spirit want you to know about this situation at this time? Okay, hello. Whoever this is for, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you are dealing with. It could be any sign. But yeah, this person is stoic. Hard to read, but they feel the same way about you and for you. Wow. Yeah, okay. Oh, there is something that you do not know right now. There is something that's happening between the two of you. There's synergy between you both. There is this, like, I know how you feel about me. I feel the same way about you. But you guys are not, like, making it. It's obvious but it just, um, like, there's always, there's something here between the two of you. There's this, this thing between you both. So they pull back and they... They're trying to find out more about you and about the situation. But you're on this person's mind day and night. They act like they don't care or don't care that much, but they do. That's why when you reach out, they respond or they keep reaching out to you. Or that's why there was a particular conversation that you two had where there was so much synergy. You felt that connection and they felt that way with you too. Like you guys connected. But then they have the King of Swords with the Devil. Okay, there's something really holding this person back right now. And I get that it's their own fears. Okay, 
This is why they're trying to, this. This is interesting. They're holding back. Yeah, look at what I'm seeing. It's their own fears. They're in their head about this. How could this work? Would she like or he like me back? Would they hurt me? They want to know more about you before taking that dive, taking that leap. And for some of you, there's something that happened between the two of you. Maybe you've known this person for a long time. Okay, there's a lot that's happened in this person's life as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm seeing here the bull. But um, Ten of Wands is someone here who's very oppressed by the situation right now. They see it as a, an uphill struggle. They see the situation very challenging for them. And usually when that's the case, it's because their mind and their heart is being pulled in opposite directions. Otherwise, it would be an easy fix or there would be, um, you know, an easy resolve. It's because they want something right now they can't have. And I'm getting here, that's you. Because of the two of pentacles and this, uh, the two of cups with the six of pentacles. And they are holding this to themselves. They are holding this back. Their feelings for you are pretty intense, I want to say, when you have this energy going on. Okay, it's like, I want to tell you everything. But before I do, I want to make sure it's safe. Before I open up my heart to you, I want to know that you won't break it. Before I really give in to you, okay, you could be the male watching. This could be about a female. It could be male or female. Genders really don't matter here. Um, it's a general reading. But someone here is like, I feel what you feel. I like you more than you think. You know, this is mutual. What we have going on here, this is synergy. This is mutual, okay? It's like, what you're feeling, I'm feeling. But they, with the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, this, this is, you know, it's like, I really want to give to you. I really, really want to, but I'm holding back. I'm really wanting to give to you, but I'm holding back. Like, I want to believe you more than anything. I want this more than anything, okay? And so I'm taking my time. I'm taking one things one step at a time. And for some of you, since the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the whole tarot deck, okay? Some of you guys may be feeling like, oh, my God, nothing's happening. Nothing's changing. Might as well be going backwards, okay? That's because I told you, whatever this is I'm picking up on right now, they're trying to get more answers more signs more clues more time but this person is really feeling you i don't know who this is for gemini libra aquarius possibly or about one a virgo capricorn taurus i have also um some pisces energy here it could be any sign though everyone's in here but they really do feel like you are at um, their new beginning because they're really happy that they found you. You could be an Aries, or you are an Aries. Leo Sagittarius that you're dealing with. This is the Emperor with the Page of Wands. Strength in the Two of Wands and the King of Wands, okay? Um, I don't know. This is the energy that I'm getting here right now is, yeah, you see this aloof detachment. Like, they don't say much. Sometimes they have this hot and cold energy. So it makes you wonder if they even like you, okay? If they feel the same way about you. The reading here that's coming out is saying, uh, this person likes you more than you think. They really want to give to this situation. They feel a connection with you. They really do. Um, something is just, it's their past, it's their history. We can look into this in your personal reading and see how your person sees, sees the situation. There's the devil energy here. Something's blocking this connection right now. It could be you, you're the way you're thinking as well. Okay, we'll look into it, but this is what I have for you guys for now. I am seeing great, yeah, someone's really in their head about this, mentally conflicted, okay? Um... I don't want to say too much in the general reading because all of you guys are dealing with, you know, every relationship is unique. 
every situation is unique and I can't answer or tell you guys anything more beyond that right now um, without looking at it specifically. But generally, this is what I'm getting. You're, you're in the hangman position about the lovers. They are the two of cups with the six of pentacles. I mean, that's the yeah. magician and the seven of pentacles. If you want this, you can have this. Yeah, you got to do this right, though. The magician, anything can happen. Ooh, this is exciting. And what is this? This is really exciting. Yeah, anything can happen. Get some clarity, get some answers, um, ask your questions, um, find this. There's something about this is telling you to, you need to look at the situation differently. There's something that you, that you, um, you can be thinking, looking at the situation the wrong way too. Your fears are holding you back, both of you. This is why, oh wow, hello, that's what I just said. Okay, I priestess in the judgment. Let something out. Stop hiding. Stop faking. Stop pretending like you're not interested or someone here. And maybe your person needs to stop doing that. Because both of you have a lot of love in here. In this situation. With something you feel. Okay, can't really be seen. This is something that you intuitively know. And you're absolutely correct. Some of you could have walked away from this person, moved away, walked away. This person may, you, I'm seeing some movement and travel. So you guys could have moved away. Someone here, um, could have, I don't know. Well, look at it in your personal. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with this. Hope this one helps. Thank you guys for your time. Now I'm seeing strength card come out. That means find that courage to do something that makes you feel really uncomfortable. But I get it. Before you do that, we can do it. We can take a look at it in your personal reading. I don't know how this reading is going to make sense to you guys, but hopefully it did. I had a lot of fun. Bye, guys. Thanks for your time.